Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you on Curlin Florida Derby Day. 14 races, 10 stakes, 5 graded, of course, culminating with the grade 1, $1 million Curlin Florida Derby. The Rainbow Six is massive as well. And we've got P. Diallo upstairs with your course and weather conditions. The weather is beautiful. Temperatures in the mid-70s with sunny skies. The main track fast. The Tapita track fast. The turf course firm. In the first race to start the early pick five, scratch the 8, 10, 12, 15, and 16. Jose Ortiz rides the 13, Lionel Reyes rides the 14. Racing at Goldstream. Florida Derby Day is underway. In the middle, that's Princetown, one of the first to begin. On the far outside, hanging in there, looking to get over. Alongside him is Endless Rain in the charge to the first turn. Down at the inside, speed from Devil's Playground, who emerges on top of Princetown, who now settles in second. Moving up on the outside, Juventus is now third, headstrong toward the rail, Dunes of Gold. Out a bit deep on the course goes Endless Rain, racing a length in front of Typhoon Fury. The favorite settles down mid-flight. On his outside, it's hanging in there with Grog in tight toward the rail. A gap of another two and a half lengths back to the team of Bourbon Outlaw, and the jig is up. And then well back the early trailer here, that trailer of my life story. And the run to the half mile point. The quarter was 23 and 1. The leader is Devil's Playground and Paca Lopez on top with a host of pursuers. Moving up on the far outside, that's hanging in there. And between horses and on the improve, Juventus. Prince down stays at the rail. Then Typhoon Fury. On his outside is Endless Rain. Trying to wind it up from the back. My life story on a big blitzing move here for Bravo. That took Grog off guard as he was trying to hook to the clear. They raced to the top of the stretch with plenty of hopes. On the inside, it's still Devil's Playground, the leader. My life story is with him. Typhoon Fury stuck in traffic. Off cover, here comes the run from hanging in there. At the rail, it's Princetown. A late run down the center from Grog. He's rolling home. They come past the 16th pole. Princetown has the lead. On the outside, Grog is second behind Princetown, who's your first race winner. Princetown wins by a length over Grog second, hanging in there third in 127 and four. Racing and the Sunshine State Starter Handicap. The two favorites both away very well. Spirit Animal looking for forward position, moving out the rail, the best distance is on the go. Into the top flight goes Sand Dancer, and here's Thomas on the wide running tap gold trying to get over in the run to the first turn. Spitesburg Comente works between horses and out a bit deep on the course is Be Like Clint. Fly the W, he finds himself second last in the early stages, and he's two better than Possiblemente, who's last of all as they chase the speed of the best distance. The best distance on top by two after the opening quarter with Tap Gold out in the center second. Sand Dancer is there third with Spirit Animal close to the action in fourth, followed fifth by Spites Per Comete, then Be Like Clint and Fly the W. Fly the W on a long hold second last and the trailer is Possiblemente. They complete the quarter in 24 and 4. That's a very reasonable pace for these quality individuals. And the leader is the best distance by a length. Top gold is second. Into the clear goes Sand Dancer. He's now third. Spirit Animal is at the rail in fourth. Spite Spur Comete is a bit wide on the course, but not as wide as Fly the W. Fly the W trying a backstretch blitz here. At the inside, it's Be Like Clint, and the trailer is Possiblemente as they round the far turn. So Fly the W got started ahead of Spirit Animal today, but he has to give up a lot of ground to do it as they sprint now past the three eighths up front it's sand dancer in front by an neck fly the w launching his bid second back to third the best distance stuck in traffic spirit animal looking for room beat like clint spites per comete on the far outside less than a quarter of a mile to come with a big sustained run fly the w challenging for the lead sand dancer fights right back second toward the inside spirit animal loose for the drive down the center and be like clint they come past the eighth pole here comes be like clint rolling down the center fly the w caught a bit off guard 
hard and he can't stay with them. B, like Clint, wins going away. Fly the W second, Sand Dancer ran third. Fourth was Spirit Animal in 149. Flat. Cutler Bay. Old Flag was off a step slow. This favorite set was away quickly enough, but he's going to be challenged for the early lead by King Julian, who marches forward toward the rail. Aramio going to try to teach set to relax while racing in a flanking position in second. A length and a half in front of Tok Tok. He saves ground into third. Double Your Money is there fourth out wide on the course in Ari's Magic. Then Salvatore Prince and the early trailer is Old Flag. And the run to the backstretch, King Julian has the lead by a length and a half. Set is second while under a hold. He's a bit keen, but not bad. At the inside, Tok Tok is now third. Fourth is double your money, two and a half better than Salvatore Prince with Ari's Magic, and out the back is Old Flag. 24 seconds for the opening quarter. They're less than five-eighths from the wire, and King Julian has the lead. Working out in the three lane here is set as Jaramillo continues to try to get him to relax. He's racing in second, but starting to make a mid-race move through a 47 and four-half mile. A gap of three to Tok Tok, racing a half in front of Double Your Money. Three back to Salvatore Prince, then Ari's Magic, and Old Flag is last. Around the far turn they go, and there goes Set. He now takes the advantage from King Julian, who's back to second, two and a half. Double Your Money is now third with Tok Tok back fourth, and they're at the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to come, and the Cutler Bay, and Set still has the lead. On the outside, Double Your Money tries to get to him at the inside. Tok Tok, Salvatore Prince underway late. Final 16th of a mile, Set has the lead. Double Your Money is second, but it will be Set. Set wins the Cutler Bay and learns something in the process, winning by a length and a half. Double Your Money is in a four for second with Salvatore Prince in 128 flat. Good start for Spy Hunter nearest the inside. Up on the outside, here's Fredo forwardly positioned. Rotterdam comes away in a good spot. Read on is between horses, and Sir London's on the far outside. Mid-flight early is just a photo. He races in front of O Captain and Meyer. Second last is Spirit Maker. The early trailer is Mutawid. And they're under the clubhouse turn. It's Spy Hunter on top. He leads Fredo by half a length. On the far outside, it's Sir London. This is a great tracking spot for Rotterdam. Well spotted by Zayas is he. He's fourth about three lengths behind. Then it's Reed on, followed by Just a Photo. Oh, Captain is hard to handle a bit. Two better than Meyer as they make their way to the back stretch. The two at the back remain Spirit Maker and Mutawid. They make their way by a quarter in 23 and 4, and they now have less than 5 eighths to go. And it's still Spy Hunter doing battle with Fredo on the top end. Sir London is now racing from third. Up on the inside, Rotterdam is a patient fourth. Read on. He remains in fifth position now. And it's a length and a half back to just a photo with O'Captain and Meyer. Out the back, Spirit Maker and Mutawid. 
They make their way to the far turn. They went 47 and 1 for the opening half mile with the advantage. Spy Hunter a half a length. Fredo is second. Sir London together with Rotterdam third and fourth. Read on now fifth. Oh, Captain tries to improve with an outside passage at the rail. That's just a photo. Myers between horses at the rail at Spirit Maker as they race for home. Plenty of hopes here. It's still Spy Hunter the target. Fredo takes his shot. Just a photo. He needs some place to go. He's buried in traffic. Oh, Captain meanwhile has clear racetrack and is running home with Read on. They come past the 16th pole. In between horses, Fredo outside Sir London, inside Spy Hunter getting up late now. It's Sir London to win it. Sir London won it, but make no mistake about who was best. Just a photo with a nightmare run. He's in a picture for minor placings in 139 flat. Okay, beginning for mind frame. He's ridden for some forward position up on the yacht side. It's one sharp cookie who's away quickest. One sharp cookie to the top. In between horses, Trouble Meister with Surter's at the rail, and mind frame is three wide. Then it's Ponce de Leon racing on the outside is Manhattan Boy, another two. Great Lilo improves in traffic, working three better than six kings and Idaneo. The early trailer is valued Cajun. And they run to the opening quarter. They whistled a quarter, 21 and 4. Asserter and Castellano have moved through inside of one sharp cookie to take a narrow advantage. They've gone two and a half better than Troublemeister, who's now third from this big favorite mind frame. He's close enough to the action. He's racing in fourth now. At the inside, Great Lilo dropping back is Ponce de Leon. Trying to wind it up from the back is Six Kings. Rosario asking for speed there through a 44 and two half mile. Mind frame really picks it up nicely. He's out in the center of the racetrack and gaining good ground on the and battle duo who have gone awfully quick. Mindframe at even money is on the scene now. Quarter of a mile left to go. It's Mindframe the leader from last. Value Cajun tries to follow him through and claim second at a big price, but Mindframe has kicked it in. Mindframe, this hype was real hype as Mindframe is running up the score here. A very impressive run from Mindframe. His first career start a winning one by Florida Derby winner Constitution. Mindframe by 10 in the end. One sharp cookie was second. Value Cajun ran third, Asserter was fourth in 121 and three. Racing and the Pan Am. Good start inside for Lucky Curlin, one of the first in to stride, but the early advantage goes to Candidate as they charge to the first turn or far turn of the first time. It's Candidate in front. He leads by a length over public sector in second. Tawny Port is a keen third. Ducking down toward the inside is the favorite. Away racing in fourth and off the inside, Harry Hood. Back from there, it's a headstrong Cortez with Street ready and out the back early. The trailer now is Lucky Curlin. They bend around the far turn for the first time. Jorge Ruiz and Candidate call the shots. They're a length and a half in front. Moving out the rail, it's Tawny Port in between horses, public sector, and getting started on the outside is Street Ready. Back from there, Cortez is with Harry Hood, and Lucky Carlin is last. Field separated by about five and a half in the run toward the finish line the first time. The opening quarter was 23-3. and three. It's a pretty lively opening quarter speed. The leader is candidate by a length. In between horses, public sector is second at the rail. Tawnyport getting a sweet trip in third. Street Ready has to give up ground on the first two turns while racing in fourth. Then Harry Hood. Cortez is second last for Rosario, and the trailer is Lucky Curlin as they charge around the clubhouse turn. Candidate trying to catch a mid-race breather. He's in front by a length and a half over public sector in second. At the rail, Tawny Port hasn't spent a penny and looks for racing room in third. Outside street ready in between horses, Harry Hood, then Cortez, and Lucky Curlin is last. So the two favorites are about two and a half lengths off the lead, and the lead is held by Candidate, who's in front with five furlongs to go after three quarters and one thirteen and one. It's Candidate the leader. He's been in front from the outset. Public Sector is second. Still patient at the rail is Tawny Port. Street Ready has been wide throughout. Harry Hood is next. Rosario looks like he's got to follow his stablemate if he wants to get through on Cortez, and the trailer is Lucky Curlin. 
three quarters and 13 and one. The mile and 138 flat. They swing to the far turn and the Rude and Riddle Pan American. The leader is candidate. He's been in front from the outset and he's asked to quicken. On the outside, it's public sector now second. Harry Hood, three wide third. Locked in, Tony Port. Now Cortez can work to his outside if he wants. Cocky Curlin is next and they're at the top of the stretch. They move to the top of the stretch with public sector, the leader off cover. Cortez is going to get first run on Tony Port who's married in traffic. Eighth of a mile out, Cortez charging hard down the center. In between horses, it's Harry Hood off the rail, Tony Port. Public sector right with them. Harry Hood trying to turn away Cortez. Cortez, Harry Hood, photo finish. Cortez surged at Harry Hood. Tony Port was unlucky in the run in 224 and four. They're off in the go sapper. In the middle, Tumba Rumba gets the first call. Moving to him is XY Point, and XY Point now puts a neck in front. Tumba Rumba will sit a flanking trip in second, and up on the outside goes McBagnick, and down at the inside, that's him, Il Miraculo. Moving out the rail, let's lure him in. Back from there, Steel Sunshine ahead of Donegal Forever. The early trailer is the skipper, too. And the run around the first turn, the leader is XY Point. It's XY Point in front by half a length. Tumba Rumba is second. Toward the inside, El Miraculo races from third. At the rail, that's lure him in. Bagnick on the outside is now racing in fourth. Up to the far outside goes Donegal Forever. Then it's back to Steel Sunshine and the trailer, the skipper, true. The opening quarter was just 24-3. and three. There's zero pace on here. They're crawling up front. XY Point has the lead, but Tumba Rumba's right alongside, and Tumba Rumba now strides forward to a neck advantage. On the far outside, it's Donegal Forever. Trying to work between horses is Il Miraculo. Johnny V has that racing lane secured as Jose Ortiz is asking Tumba Rumba to pick it up three wide. They round the far turn. Donegal Forever strides into fourth. The opening half was 49-2. and two. Needing to get underway in a big way is Steel Sunshine. He's not had much pace ahead of him. Around the far turn they go. Tumba Rumba now has the lead by half a length. Il Miraculo in tight between horses at the rail at XY point. Two and a half lengths back to a driven Donegal forever. Steel Sunshine's on, on her way but he's got a long way behind and he's behind his arch nemesis Tumba Rumba into the short stretch of the mile in a 16th trip and Tumba Rumba has the lead. Il Miraculo runs at him from the inside. These two kick on on the outside Tumba Rumba toward the inside Il Miraculo. Late run from Steel Sunshine. Here comes Il Miraculo. It's a photo finish. Photo finish at the first wire. Il Miraculo and Tumba Rumba. Steel Sunshine, too late. He was third and 143 and three. Coast Pick 5. $1 minimum. Player-friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5. Every weekend. Racing in the Sanibel Island Stakes. Level beginning. They're across the course early. 
From the inside, Destiny Star, Zoli, part of the pace scenario, so is Joyful Lass. Mixing up between horses, managing mischiefs not far away. Ozara's between horses, and up and by her went Golden Ghost. Then it's Madness, ahead of an inside running Viv Verve. Hello, Hollywood, second last in the early trailer, Pharaoh's Wine. And the run around the first turn, Destiny Star and Joe Bravo call the shots. They lead by a length. Second is Golden Ghost. Up to the outside, that's managing mischief in third. Zoli is at the rail fourth. Joyful Lass is next. Joel Rosario has the race favorite, Ozara. She's in the green colors in the two path, about three lengths behind. On her back is Viv Verve. Madness works between horses. Zayas angles to the three wide side with Pharaoh's Wine, and Hello Hollywood is at the back of the field through a 47 and four half mile. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Ozara had just had to check, and she did Madness no favors in that exchange. The leader is Destiny Star. Up between horses, Golden Ghost at the rail, Zoli. Now trying to improve his Zara. She's going to follow Golden Ghost through. Meanwhile, Viv Verve needs room toward the rail. They're off the turn. They're in the stretch drive. Who do you like here? Off cover. Golden Ghost to challenge for control. Ozara's loose. She's two lengths behind. Looking for room between horses. Viv Verve storming down the center. Pharaoh's wine. They come past the 16th pole. Viv Verve got through. Viv Verve in front. Viv Verve for the money. Close then for second in 128 and 2. start for long range Tati who's put right on the early advantage here and down at the inside Vivir Con Alegria Legacy Isle wants to mix it up Oscar Eclipse joins the top flight on the far outside it's ticking saving ground is implementation moving up between horses Shaq Diesel then dreaming of Kona and thought is last they run to the half mile point, checking hard back toward the back of the field was Shaq Diesel as implementation tried to work to the outside. The advantage to Legacy Isle, the quarter was 22 and 1. Legacy Isle to the half mile point leads by two. Second is Oscar Eclipse down at the inside, Vivir Con Alegria right alongside. And then back to fourth goes Ticking at the rail, it's long range Toddy. Outside, Dreaming of Kona. Inside, Shaq Diesel. Implementation stuck in traffic and thoughts on the outside as they pass the three for a long point. With the advantage, it's Legacy Isle, Oscar Eclipse, launching a bid second at the 5 16th, three wide. Ticking is now third, trying to rind it up from the back implementation. He's in the white and red colors. He's stuck in traffic as Irad looks for some place to race. Off the turn and the stretch drive the half. 44 and 4, they're in the drive. There's a whole a bunch of pursuers here, but implementation's loose, and he's got the fresh legs trying to go get Oscar Eclipse. Oscar Eclipse is in front. Implementation runs at him on the outside and dreaming of Kona between horses. It's Oscar Eclipse. He's still there. Dreaming of Kona one more time. Oscar Eclipse prevails. Oscar Eclipse for jockey Jose Ortiz and trainer Brian Lynch. Win narrowly. Dreaming of Kona second. I think implementation shook free for third in 123-1. running of the Orchid. McCulloch was away well from her outside gate, moving up from between horses. Surprisingly, he's on the go. Surprisingly, for a half-length lead in the run to the far turn. Up on the outside, here's speed from Viva La Red to take her on. McCulloch settles into a good spot in third. Maha La Mahana comes away in fourth now, ahead of Tower Bridge, and out the back, while a bit deep on the course, Anatolian. Around the far turn for the first time. Viva La Red and Paco Lopez have now stretched the lead to two. Up and around horses, Anatolian is now into second. Surprisingly is at the rail in between horses. That's Makulik at the rail, La Mejana, and on the outside, Tower Bridge. 
They're down in front of us for the first time, just over one mile to travel. And the leader is the long shot, Viva La Red, on top by two. Anatolian is second from Surprisingly. She's now third. Makulik is on her flank while racing in fourth. La Mejana fifth toward the rail, and out the back is Tower Bridge. The opening quarter was flat out fast, 23 and 1, the half mile, just as fast, 47 seconds flat. They're rolling for this three-turn race, and the leader is Viva La Red on top by three. Racing in second now is Anatoly, and on the outside of Surprisingly, who's toward the rail third. On a hold fourth is McCulloch. She settled down well. She's about five lengths off this loose leader, a length in front of the invader La Mejana, and the trailer remains Tower Bridge. That's the six of them as they race past the six for a long point. Three quarters, one twelve and one. Racehorse time for Viva La Red, who leads by a length and a half. Anatoly in second, surprisingly third. McCulloch bides her time in fourth. La Mejana with an inside lane is fifth. And Tower Bridge is last. So the favorites have all had some pace to chase, and they're all traveling pretty well with four and a half furlongs remaining. The leader is Viva La Red by a length and a half. Anatoly in his second, surprisingly third. Makulik, jockey Ired Ortiz Jr. deciding when he wants to launch her to the clear. She's now moving up on the outside. Up on her back is La Mejana, and the trailer is Tower Bridge, and now the pace quickens. Makulik, three wide and charging to challenge Viva La Red. In between horses, it's Anatoly, and looking for room behind horses is surprisingly. Rosario tries to keep her bracket it in with La Mejana, who's in the yellow on the far outside. They move to the top of the stretch. Makulik has the lead and is asked to kick away. La Mejana on the far outside, surprisingly between horses. Eighth of a mile to go. Makulik, she's got a kick. La Mejana launching late with surprisingly in between. Final sixteenth of a mile. Here comes surprisingly after Makulik, but Makulik turned her away. Makulik wins the Orchid by half a length. Second surprisingly, third with no excuse. La Mejana in 2.25 and one. and the Gulfstream Park Oaks, presented by FanDuel TV. Ways and Means was away in good shape, although she's tightened up for racing room now, as Into Champagne gets started with a wall of pursuers. Ways and Means got shuffled back. She's up over heels and angles for clear racetrack. So up front, Into Champagne leads narrowly with Fiona's Magic alongside in second. Moving out the rail, that's an improving power squeeze, and on her outside, it's Gunsong. Farther out, Scalable works over from the outside draw, but she is three wide. Ways and Means, while meanwhile, work to the outside. She's about five or six lengths behind. Moving out the rail, that's Do-Gooder. Neom City between horses, racing ahead of America's Val as they make their way by the opening quarter. That quarter was 24 seconds flat. It's a stacking, packing field with Into Champagne in front. Scalable tugging up on the far outside. There goes Ways and Means. Ways and Means not happy with the tempo. And Irad's going to send her on a mid-race move to challenge for control while four wide. Gunsong is between horses. Fiona's Magic got shuffled on that exchange. She's back to fourth. Power Squeeze is next. And Tenno asking her to keep up. Then back to the outside. It's Scalable toward the inside. Do-Gooder ahead of America's Val. Neom City a long way behind as they round the far turn. They're three in line into Champagne toward the inside. In between horses, Gunsong and the looming presence of Ways and Means, three wide. A gap of three more to power squeeze. Scalable tries to get a rally going while seven lengths off the lead. Less than a quarter of a mile to come in the Gulfstream Oaks as they race to the first finish line. Into Sampain just lost the lead to Ways and Means. Power squeeze has a shot at her from the center. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Ways and Means on top. Power squeeze has to finish it up by Centeno, and she's closing ground. Here comes Power Squeeze on the outside. Power Squeeze has gained the upper hand, and Brings the upset in the Gulfstream Oaks. Ways and Means certainly fired, but she was second best. Back to third was into Champagne, then Gunsong for the Super in 144 flat.
in the Sand Springs. Excellent beginning for Angel Natashiko, who looks for the early advantage. She's taken on by Infinite Diamond. Up on their outside goes Fast as Flight, almost three in line. Candy Light is guarding that rail spot with Cairo Consort and Market Segmentation next. The favorite is away in good shape. She'll be about two and a half wide in the run to the first turn. Back at the field, it's Fuente over Huna, and Typey is last. Around the first turn they go. Angel Natashiko has the lead. She's a length in front now over fastest flight second. Infinite Diamond is now third from a well-placed market segmentation. Fourth in the two-path now. Candy Light is fifth at the rail. Then Cairo Consort ahead of Beechnut Trophy. Fuente Ovejuna second last. And Taipei is at the back. Separated by seven lengths behind a 24-second opening quarter. Angel Natashiko taking constant pace pressure from fastest flight, who's up alongside in second. Market segmentation continues at joint third with Infinite Diamond as they went 47 and 4 for a half mile speed. Cairo Consort is watching the favorite about five lengths off the lead with Candy Light toward the rail. Then back to Beechnut Trophy who's racing together with Fuente Ovejuna and Taipei is last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn, three-eighths of a mile from home. Angel Natashiko has the lead, closer second, fastest flight. Here's market segmentation. Let go by Jose Ortiz for a three-wide run. Underway is Cairo Consort. She's under a full head of steam, four-wide. Infinite Diamond looks for room toward the rail. Off the turn on the stretch drive, the leader is Angel Natashiko. Market segmentation needs to do better than that. Cairo Consort is down the center, and she's charging hard to take the lead. Cairo Consort front and center at 7-2. to two. Cairo Consort to win the Sand Springs. Good battle for second. It's either fastest flight or Fuente Ovejuna. I think Angel Natashiko held fourth in 139 and two. And they're off in the 72nd Appleton. It was a level beginning. Soon after the break, never surprised, went after Big Everest for the lead. These two race on. Away in third, Ice Chocolat, who's garden situated early for Paco. Away in fourth, it's Title Forces, followed fifth by a ducking over Smoke and Tea. He got over nicely as well. Churchtown is next, two in front of Saratoga Flash with Quality G. Second last is Skyro. The early trailer is County Final. And the run around the first turn, it's Big Everest on top for jockey Joel Rosario. Their length and a quarter, never surprised. Second, Ice Chocolat third. Tidal Forces is there fourth, Smoking Tea at the rail fifth. Covered up and racing now into sixth, this Churchtown, a length in front of Saratoga Flash, then Quality G. At the back are Skyro and County Final. They make their way to the half-mile part of the contest. Big Everest has been in front from the outset and still leads by half a length over Never Surprised in second. The half was 47-1. and one. Out in the clear goes Tidal Forces locked in toward the rail. Ice Chocolat. Smoke and Tease had a sweet trip, but now needs to find some place to get out. From the outside, it's Churchtown. Another two back to Saratoga Flash. Then comes Quality G. Out the back, County Final and Sky Row as they make their way now to the top of the stretch. They stack and pack up front. From the four wide side, Churchtown. Three wide, Tidal Forces. Two path, never surprised. Crying for racetrack. Both Ice Chocolat and Smoke and Tea. Up the wood at Saratoga Flash. Who do you like here? Ice Chocolat. 
a lot didn't get through. Quality G storming home on the stand side. Smoke and T still trying to muscle into the clear. Here, here it comes late. Smoke and C launching. Smoke and T got up, I think. Smoke and T might have got up over Saratoga Flash, who was right alongside in 133 and one. And they're off in the Florida Derby. Fierceness was away perfectly from his outside draw and will use some speed to try to get over. Meanwhile, it's Grand Mo the first who's at the rail and in front with Ladombro right alongside. Fierceness, he's on the accelerator early as Johnny V. He's up and around horses and he wants to lead. So Fierceness will land the front in the run to the opening quarter. In between horses, Ladombro out three wide as Catalytic and Grand Mo the first is at the rail. They're followed by Real Macho who races outside of Hades. Hades is about three and a half lengths off the speed ahead of Iris's dream. Covered up between horses is Conquest Warrior and the early trailer is Frankie's Empire. The opening quarter just 24 seconds flat. Fierceness on his A game so far. He's a length in front over Catalytic a wide second. In between horses, Ladombro Grand Mo the first is at the rail. Real Macho works out in the center, racing in front of Hades. Then Iris's Dream and Conquest Warrior still at the back, but in the clear is Frankie's Empire. They went the half in 47 and 2. They have the favorite to catch. It's Fierceness to the far turn on top by a length and a half. Working harder is Catalytic at the rail. Grand Mo the first. Ladombro has to quicken, but he's not. At the rail, it's Conquest Warrior trying to launch his bid. Frankie's Empire is wide on the course, but Johnny V still sitting pretty on Fierceness who tries to sneak away. Three quarters, 111 and 1. They run to the 5 16th and Fierceness, he is getting away. He's now four in front. Catalytic is second. Grand Mo the the first is third on the outside. Frankie's Empire, Conquest Warrior at the rail, but they all have too much to do. Fierceness is putting on a show in Hallandale today. Fierceness, the real Fierceness, has showed up to South Florida, and he's crushing them in the Florida Derby. Fierceness geared down and on his way to Louisville. Fierceness authoritatively in the Florida Derby. He never had a threat. Catalytic was second. It's a very close photo for third between Grand Mo the first and Conquest Warrior. Hades to complete the high five in 148 and one. And that's a wrap on the 14 race, Curlin Florida Derby Day card. We will close down the championship meet Sunday. And of course that means it's mandatory Rainbow Six Day. Come on out here and celebrate with us on Easter Sunday. We hope to see you out here to close it all down at beautiful Gulfstream Park. <laughs>